This video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com. Dear students, from this session I will start the discussion of solution and different ways to express the concentration of solution. Now, what is solution? Here is the definition. Solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more non-reacting substances. And here the meaning of homogeneous is the composition and properties are uniform throughout the mixture. If there are two components in the solution, it is known as binary solution. In binary solution, one component is called solute and another component is called solvent. Now if I take NaCl salt, if this NaCl solid is put in water, then the solution, the solution obtained will have physical state of liquid. Single phase here we are getting homogeneous. The composition is the same throughout the solution. If I put sugar in water, sugar in water, here also, here also you are going to get a single phase. Throughout the solution, the composition of sugar will be the same. In this example, NaCl is mixed with water. In this example, uh, sugar is mixed with water. So, both these are the examples of binary solution. Here we have written that in binary solution, one component is solute and another component is solvent. Now, question arises in a mixture, in a mixture, how do we decide that which component is solute and which component is solvent? If I ask you what is solvent, you may say that solvent is that component which dissolves the solute. And if I ask you what is solute, you may say that solute is that component which is dissolved in the solvent. But, but when you are saying that solvent is that component which dissolves solute, so in your definition, the term solute was not defined. The definition of definition is all the terms should be defined. When I asked what is solute, you said solute is that component which is dissolved in the solvent. Again, in your definition of solute, the term solvent is not defined. So, what should be the correct, what should be the correct definition of solvent and solute? Now to understand, to understand the correct meaning of solvent, I will take an example. Example of sugar solution. Obviously, sugar solution is a mixture of sugar and water. Basically, we are mixing sugar and water. And this way, we get sugar solution. Now, if I ask you, what is the physical state of this sugar? You will say solid. What is the physical state of this water? You will say liquid. Now, what is the physical state of this sugar solution? You will say liquid. Now, now, the physical state of this sugar solution matches with the physical state of water. Now, if I take the example of salt solution. Salt is mixed with water. For example, NaCl. Now, we will get salt solution. Again, if I ask you, what is the physical state of this NaCl salt? You will say solid. What is the physical state of this water? 
you will say liquid what is the physical state of this salt solution you will say liquid now what is the relation in both the cases we have seen that the solution physical state is the same as the physical state of solvent are you getting my point so what is the conclusion solvent is that component of the solution whose physical state is the same as that of solution but many times what happens if you mix if you mix c2h5 that is liquid with water that is again liquid and what will be the physical state of the solution it will be liquid so so if the two components have the same physical states then how to decide solute and solvent here i have written if the two components have same physical states then the component which is present in greater quantity is considered to be solvent students let me tell you the meaning of dissolution is when you put salt when you put salt in water water molecules will surround the salt particles water molecules will surround the salt particle this is called dissolution and this way solution is obtained now we have defined this solvent now easily you can say solute as that component which is dissolved in the solvent because now solvent is defined my point is clear dear students component of solution can be in solid state liquid state and gaseous state and depending upon the physical states of solvent and solute nine types of solutions are possible let me show you you can see here i have written the solution type solid solutions liquid solutions gaseous solutions when you say solid solutions the meaning of this is your solvent is in solid state when you say liquid solutions means solvent is in liquid state when you say gaseous solutions means the solvent is in gaseous phase my point is clear now I, as i told you nine types of solutions are there this is the first type your solute is in solid state your solvent is also in solid state example is alloy number 2 solute liquid state solvent solid state example amalgam mercury in zinc mercury in gold etc now gas in solid gas in solid solution of hydrogen in palladium fourth solid solute and solvent liquid example salt in water sugar solution fifth solute is in liquid state and solvent is in liquid state alcohol in water if the solute is in gaseous form and solvent is in liquid state this is the sixth one example aerated drink seven solute is in solid state solvent is in gaseous form example camphor vapors in n2 gas eighth solute is in liquid state solvent is in gaseous state example water vapors in air ninth gas in gas means solute is in gaseous form solvent is also in gaseous form example air my point is clear so these are different types of solutions possible dear students in the next video lecture i will talk about the concentration concentration of the solution and i will talk about different ways to express concentration thank you
This video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com. Testpreparder.com provides free audio visual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties, free online tests prepared by expert faculties to students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams or planning to take exams like KVPY, Olympiad, etc. It provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams. The mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals. Log on to www.testpreparder.com to watch free video lectures on different topics, to download free revision notes, to take free chapter-wise online tests, progressive tests and mock tests, to discuss doubts with mentors. Thank you for watching the video. To stay up to date with the latest videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on our Facebook page, Test Prep Adda. All the best.